So guys, these are my ingredients. This is the corn. Mommy. And onion. And potatoes. And this is my first uh, bok choy or pechay this year, 2021. My first harvest. And I'm just gonna add some uh, salt and black pepper. And the first ingredients that you need is the onion, black pepper, and salt. Now guys, we have to cook the frozen meat with onion, salt, and black pepper. So now guys, this is the slow cooker that I use for the frozen meat. And I like this because it's safer and it has the best result. Guys, this bok choy is from my garden and this is my first harvest this year, 2021. And guys, as you can see, I transferred already the meat from the slow cooker to a new cooking pot after two hours and a half. And I put the new sliced uh, onions too. <laughs> Now it's time to put the potatoes. Simmer it. Oh, 
I added more salt. Added black pepper now you have to cover and simmer it and wait for the potato to be soft a little bit Now the potato is off, it's time to put the corn. Added more salt. And all you have to do is simmer it and wait for the corn to be cooked and you can put the last ingredient so as you can see guys for now i don't have uh, an exact amount of ingredients like the salt and the pepper but uh in the future i'm gonna try my best to put an exact amount of the ingredients that you guys can follow my recipe and please don't skip for the best results because I keep adding ingredients that it's not in the first video. One more advice if you have toddlers uh keep out the toddlers away from the kitchen because it's really dangerous and guys if you have any suggestions or comments or any advice to me uh please uh, just leave the comments and I'll be happy to answer you I 
you can see guys i transferred uh the food to the bigger pot because i just realized that my cooking pot is full and i still have to put more ingredients and i put more soup from the slow cooker just cover it and simmer and wait for the corn to be cooked As you can see guys the meat is really soft that's why i like this low cooker that i use because And finally the corn is cooked now and now we can put the bok choy the last ingredient and guys I put a lot of bok choy because the more bok choy we put the healthier we get So again guys, as soon as you put the bok choy, uh, you need to cover it and just wait a little bit. Then you can have your delicious nilagam baka with crunchy bok choy. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more videos and click the bell button for notifications. See you soon.